hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to talk about uh, if you don't know about it uh, peter duce is currently trending and uh, he's trending because they said he disrespected the only of ife if you don't know only of ife he's a king in um the Yoruba side of uh, Nigeria, right? Okay, so just for anybody that's an outsider, a foreigner that does not know. So, um, P Pete Edoche is an, a popular Nigerian actor. And uh, recently they met in a gathering and uh, he put out his hand to shake the Oni of Ife. Uh, there's been a lot of opera about it all over social media. People are calling him disrespectful, that a whole king and um, why would he didn't bow down to greet the king. I even saw a post where people said, oh, even the the whatever former president or former former even former president or something like i can't remember that even that one is older than oni and that one bowed down to greet the oni and all of that and i just want to come here and give my own uh, opinion about it and uh, how i see it okay it's my own opinion everybody have their own opinions you can leave them in the comment section below so um i want to say this right as an Igbo girl i will speak from how i see it okay now i in my culture Wait, oh, don't be too fast. Give me a second. In my culture, we don't bow. I'm actually from a royal family, from my mother's side, right? And uh, I, we don't bow or prostrate and we all kneel. It, it's not our culture. Our greeting is typically, you know, like this. Igwe. Or like this. This is how I know they greet the... the this is my own, what I remember over here. You know, this is how I know they greet the king. Is Igwe. Igwe. That's it. Bowing down, kneeling down is not our culture. Give me a second. I know some people may be too um, excited to tell me I'm wrong. Let me, like I said, my opinion. Give me a second to share it, right? Now, I grew up, um, I remember when we moved to Benin. I remember as a little girl, we moved to Benin when I was about seven years old. And our next door neighbors, you know, it was a half a fence and the other was, the other part of the fence is like, um, you know, like, um, metal rod like this so we could see through their house and i remember we used to be fascinated when we see them bow down or kneel down to greet their their father we used to be fascinated i was actually born to my parents when we were living in lagos but we left lagos and moved to the east from the east i moved we moved to benin because i was too young to remember how life was for us in lagos but i can tell you my first memory of seeing people bow down to or bow down or kneel down whatever to greet somebody was when we moved to benin and like i said we were so fascinated i remember those days we used to like sit down and we used to look through the window and be looking at them like woo, 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 woo. like it was fascinating because it's so foreign to us i remember our neighbors then they used to kneel down and the most interesting one right is if the children or younger people would give drink to the elders they would give the drink and kneel down there right to their father mother like really older the uh, the elders they will kneel down there until that elder finished drinking that water that child will not get up and we used to be like what we used to be blown away because it was so different from what we're used to different from our culture now one problem we have as a, a people you know that's why some people believe that we don't belong together we should go our separate ways our cultures are too different our you know whatever we're so different 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 one of the problems we have is the lack of tolerance and the lack of you know understanding of diversity my opinion let me finish here understanding of diversity what what am i speaking about we need as a people we need to understand when someone is not from a particular place i understand that okay what that person did was wrong but yeah na na yoruba na ibo na kini they don't know our culture and understand it and accept that okay this is not disrespectful because where this person comes from that is how it's done you know some people say we don't get respect because we don't nail down to bridge they say we don't have respect uh, they say i've ever heard what they said Ibo, Ibo, pers, Ibo, self that can use leg to wake their parents that is how they view it that it's just different cultures for example there are some it's happening a lot now that you know when we did the, they were doing this uh fufu challenge so people were asking why are they eating it with hand he is messy he's messy but that is our culture so somebody else our culture is disgusting and i'm like no it's disgust it's not disgusting it is a finger food we use hand to eat it just like uh, westerners we use use hand to eat pizza and burgers and stuff like that chips they use hand to eat them too so there's some food that are finger food because you're not used to it doesn't make it wrong Coming back to Oni and uh, Kini, let me tell, let me say this, right? I, I understand how people that have grown up with a particular culture think of, seize 
this as a sign of respect. Why somebody else to them is not a sign of respect. Somebody else can actually look at that video and say, ah, the only even sat down to greet Peter Duce. Ah, Peter Duce that has his age mate as children. That is disrespect. Somebody else can see it like that. Because I have seen kings that when people come, when, let me tell you, in my culture, I've seen it. When um, an older person comes to see the king, the king stands from his throne to greet, even though he's a uh, whatever, they stand. To, I have seen that happening. I have seen when a large number of people come to greet the king, the king gets up to receive their greeting. For a culture like that, to see the only sitting down, when an elder was greeting, can even say, wow, he's disrespectful. For me, I do not see it as disrespectful for the only not to have stood up. I do not see it as disrespectful for, the, for Peter Duce not to have uh, bowed down and all of that. I, my personal opinion, I do not see that, that as that. And when you look at the greeting, it looks heartfelt. When you look at it, it looks like they were very happy to meet each other. Just from the look of it, it looks good. The greeting looks, they looked very pleasant with each other and they looked happy to see each other. For me, oh, personally, my thing is this. I'd rather don't, you don't bend down to greet me, but actually love me and respect me in your heart than to bow down to me, but uh, you actually in your heart has no respect or regard or love for me. Personal you, that is how me I feel about that one. Let me tell you, if you see any Igbo bowing down, uh, kneeling down, whatever, it is a borrowed culture, and there's nothing wrong with lending and borrowing, <laughs> lending and borrowing each other's culture. You know what I mean? Like I got to, like I lived in Lagos for a while. I actually got used to kind of bowing down or kind of bending halfway to greet people. Now, now even sometimes if I meet an Igbo elder, I end up doing it without even thinking because I got used to it. You know what I'm trying to say? So there's not, there, some of this, if you see Igbo people bowing and kneeling and prostrating, a lot of the time it is, it's a borrowed culture. I'm speaking, another thing, no, Igbo land is big, oh, because Anambra may come and say, oh, we actually do this. And Igbo will say, no, we actually don't. And so let's not forget that aspect as well. My thing is this, as long as people are genuinely happy to meet each other and exchange pleasantries, that is for me what is more important. And uh, let's not forget all oh, this one no go matter forever. No, you know that's the thing of what the problem we have in Nigeria now. This uh, one now what can they discuss? Anyway, that's how I feel about that Oni and uh, Peter Duce story. I don't know what are your opinions are. You can leave them in the comment section below. Another story I wanted to talk about briefly is uh, the Oni of if I made a post to praise uh, Hilda um, about the cooking, cooking competition and making the Guinness World Record. Let me read his post exactly how he, he posted, uh, how, uh, uh, how he posted it. So this is the picture he posted of Hilda. And then he now wrote and said, Today, like millions of Nigerians, I'm intrigued by Hilda Bassi, resilient spirit, who exemplified the toughness but special grace that our women possesses. Uh, what she demonstrated to our nation and every young person out there isn't the glitz or reward system of breaking the genius world record for, for, in quote, longest cooking time, but the inexhaustible Pers uh, perseverance that every woman possesses. Every little girl in all our communities and local governments, like Hilda Bassi uh, F. F. Young, uh, deserves a chance to show the world her, her capacity to wrap us in her spirit of excellence. She has the ability to influence us to break new grounds in the most complex envi uh, environment and to substantially contribute to our nation's economic prosperity. As a nation built upon family values, we must continue to recognize the uh, significant contributions made by women throughout our country's history. Their words and actions a cornerstone of our existence. That's all this man posted. Oh, come and see. Oh, sorry, if you don't know who Oni is, Oni, like I already said, he's uh, whatever. The thing is that uh, he, he had he married the, I think he was married before uh, many, many years ago, and then he later married one, uh, another lady, which is second wife. And that, later, uh, and that marriage broke up. So broke up, broke up. And then the third one broke up as well. And at the moment, there's something people view as a marriage uh, rampage. Like, He's married, like in a week, he was married two women, one here, one, he married so many women. Like now, like now, be honest, I actually lost count. I don't know if he has seven wives now or eight, I'm not too sure. So, but he just married a lot of women within a very short period, right? So, when he made this post, let me read to you guys. Some of the comments people left, 
So, this one wrote a comment and said, Kabi is yo. <laughs> that is a way of, that's a way of showing respect to a king. So, when he said, Kabi is yo, right? He now said, Hope is not what I'm thinking, sir. Don't marry this one too. I beg. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, another one said, Hmm, make I know think go far, right? I don't want to think too far into this, right? Another one said, Please, please, I don't want to hear Olori Hild. <laughs> <coughs> I don't want to hear Olori Hilda. <laughs> Another one said Olori is what the title that the wives Olori is the title that the wives would have. This one says, Come on, eye for her body, oh, as in take your eyes off her. So people are seeing it as simply because he's married a lot, a lot, a lot. Any woman now, any smart people would say, I'll be one add this one. I'll be one add this one. Because I saw that and it was a bit funny. I just wanted to share about it. Um, I'll leave this here, but don't forget, leave your opinion about the Oni and uh, Peter Duce. Do you think that was disrespectful? Whatever your opinions are about that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.